Hello everyone, David Lee here back with another video on a project-based learning and design thinking project. I hope you enjoy it. For this project, our second grade students were provided with the following scenario. You will take on the role of toy inventors from IDEO's Toy Lab. You will design a toy or a game for our school's kindergarten students. Additionally, please use nature, specifically plant propagation, to inspire your designs. For their entry event, students watch videos about IDEO a design and consulting company famous for using the design thinking process to develop innovative products and solutions. They later worked as a group to create mind maps about IDEO, of what makes the company so successful in being innovative, such as teamwork, importance of failure, persistence, and optimism. Students were then introduced with the driving question, how can you, as inventors, invent a toy or a game inspired by plant propagation. They used the design thinking process to design their toy or game, first gaining a deep understanding of their client, the kindergartners, and also about plant propagation in the empathize stage. To empathize with their clients, our second graders interviewed kindergarten students to gain an understanding of their needs, concerns, and insight. To gain understanding of plant propagation, Ms. An designed learning activities for the following topics. Wind seed dispersal, water seed dispersal, animal seed dispersal, and animal pollination. We synthesize the information from the interview to develop a problem sentence for the define stage. In the ideate stage, students sketched and labeled multiple ideas for their toy or game. After receiving feedback from classmates and teachers, students chose one solution and created a visual blueprint. In the prototype stage, they added more detail to the blueprint and made a concrete tangible product. In the test stage, students were given the opportunity to test out their toys during kindergarten free choice periods. kindergartners play with the toys while the second graders jotted down any feedback they received as well as identifying failure points or any difficulties found. They used this information to continually improve their toy or game. At the end of their project, our innovative inventors presented their toy or game at the elementary expo a public event where students showcase their work to peers, family, teachers, and community members. To answer the driving question, students acquired knowledge and skills from multiple subject areas. In writing, students learned how to compose research writing, 
researching extraordinary citizens from all around the world, specifically inventors, who have made a positive change in their community, as well as the similar characteristics, behaviors, dispositions, and skills that they all held. They also learned how to write an informational piece about their toy or game, as well as the directions on how to play with them. In language arts, students read texts that describe connections between a series of scientific concepts, historical events, and technical procedures. In engineering, students learn to ask questions, make observations, and gather information about the needs of their client, develop simple sketches, test and revise their toys. They also learned that many professional engineers use what they see in nature to inspire them and design their products. In science, students learned about interdependent relationships and ecosystems, specifically plant growth, plant propagation through seed dispersal and pollination. Well that wraps up the video, I hope it has given you a glimpse of what is possible when incorporating project based learning and design thinking into learning. I would like to give a special thanks to the following people for making this project happen. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would enjoy content similar to this. Check out the description for more links and of course thank you so much for watching. See you next time.